Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I will discuss about RNA in detail. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, the learning outcome. So in this lecture, I will discuss that what is RNA, then the structure of RNA will also be discussed in this lecture, then the types of RNA like messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA will also be covered and finally the functions of RNA will be discussed in this lecture. So first of all, what is RNA? So in the RNA, R stands for ribo, N for nucleic and A stands for acid. And if you combine these three words, so on combining these three words, we get ribonucleic acid, which is the full form of this RNA. Now, this RNA is a molecule which is present in many organisms and it acts as genetic material like in case of some viruses this RNA acts as genetic material and this RNA is also involved in the protein synthesis, gene regulation and other functions. Now the structure of RNA, so RNA formed of three elements ribose sugar, nitrogenous bases and phosphate group. So first the ribose sugar, like you know the DNA has deoxyribose sugar but in case of RNA we have ribose sugar. As you can see here we have two hydroxy group attached to the second and third carbon atom of this sugar. Then nitrogenous bases, so in case of RNA we have adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil nitrogenous bases. Thymine is absent in the RNA. Instead of thymine, we have uracil in the RNA. And next is the phosphate group. So in the RNA structure, we have ribose sugar, the nitrogenous bases and the phosphate group. So in this slide, you will see that how the structure of RNA formed so here, this is the sugar, which is the ribose sugar. So to this ribose sugar, we have nitrogenous base attached to its first carbon, as you can see, while the phosphate group, it attached to the fifth position. So by this attachment of the phosphate group and nitrogenous base with the ribose sugar, there is a structure formed that is called as nucleo and which is ultimately the basic unit of this RNA. So this is the backbone of RNA which is formed of ribose sugar and the phosphate group. As you can see, this is the ribose sugar and these are the phosphate group which ultimately forms the backbone of RNA and we have nitrogenous bases attached with this RNA as you can See, these are the nitrogenous bases like this is the guanine and this is the uracil. And keep in mind, mostly RNA, they are single standard molecules. So this is the basic structure of RNA. Now the types of RNA. So generally we have three types of RNA, messenger RNA, transfer RNA and the ribosomal RNA. So now let's discuss these three RNA in detail. First is the messenger RNA. So this messenger RNA is a single standard polynucleotide and this RNA forms the 3 to 5 percent of the total RNA content and here this RNA it carries the genetic code from nucleus to cytoplasm. So you can see it just carry the message from nucleus to the cytoplasm for the synthesis of protein. So hence it named as the messenger RNA. If the structure is concerned, so here it is a single standard as I told and we have 5 dash to 3 dash certain elements in this messenger RNA like from the 5 dash and we have 5 dash cap which is formed of 7 methyl guanosine and this cap is only available in the eukaryotes. It is absent in the prokaryotes. Then next to this 5 dash cap, we have a leader sequence 
then next to the leader sequence we have the initiator codon that is AUG the sequence for the initiator codon from where the protein synthesis will starts then after this initiator codon region we have the coding region so this is the main region which carry the information or the genetic code for the formation of proteins so this coding region it code for the proteins then next to this coding region we have the terminator codon region like we have the uaa uag and uga codon reason so these are the stop codons which will terminate the protein synthesis then after this termination codon reason we have a non coding reason and finally towards the 3 dash end we have the poly a tail that is polyadenyl tail we generally have the 200 to 250 adenine added to this 3 dash tail and this 3 dash tail is also present in the eukaryotic rna so this is the structure of RNA and generally this RNA consists of 900 to 1500 nucleotides. The next RNA is the transfer RNA. So this transfer RNA, it transfers the amino acids to the ribosome for the protein synthesis. And this transfer RNA, it forms about 3 to 15 percent of the total RNA content and the structure is concerned. So this is the structure of the transfer RNA and this is the clover leaf structure and now you can see we have two end. First is the 3 dash end and second one that is the 5 dash end. So at the 3 dash end we have CCA codon which is for the amino acid attachment. Then at the 5 dash end we have GUA and in this structure you can notice that we have certain arms so the linear portion of arm is called as stem while this rounded portion is called as loop so now the arms are concerned so we have first acceptor arm so this is the arm to which amino acid binds so you can say the acceptor arm has the amino acid binding site and this arm consists of three unpaired and seven paired nitrogenous bases Next, we have the pseudouridine arm. So, this is the arm which is for the attachment of this tRNA to the ribosome during the protein synthesis. So, simply you can say the tRNA attached to the ribosome by this pseudouridine arm. Next, we have small variable arm. Next, anticodon arm. So, this anticodon arm, it consists of five paired and seven unpaired nitrogenous bases. And out of these, the three unpaired nitrogenous bases, they form the anticodon. So this arm has anticodon which is complemented to the codon of messenger RNA. Next, we have dihydrouridine arm. So this arm is for the attachment of tRNA synthetase enzyme during the protein synthesis. So when the protein synthesis is there so the enzyme that is tRNA synthetase it will bind to this DHU arm so this is the structure of transfer RNA next is ribosomal RNA or rRNA so this rRNA it makes the ribosome and it is the major RNA present in the cell it constitutes about 80 percent of the total RNA. Here is the structure of this RNA. So it is formed of the sugar phosphate backbone like you can see here. This is the sugar phosphate backbone and it also have the nitrogenous bases like these are the nitrogenous bases. So this is the basic structure of ribosomal RNA. Next the functions of RNA. So RNA carry out some functions like first this RNA acts as genetic material. In certain viruses, the RNA acts as the genetic material. Like for example, tobacco mosaic virus, which have the RNA as the genetic material. Next is the control of gene expression. Means this RNA it also involved in the control of gene expressions. Like for example, micro RNA or SI that is small interfering RNA so they are involved in the control of gene expression. Next 
दैट इज दिस मैसेंजर आर ने इट कैरीज इंफॉर्मेशन टू द राइबोजोम एज आई टोल्ड द मैसेंजर आर ने हैड द जेनेटिक कोड विच कैरी द इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस सो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन कैरीज टू द राइबोजोम बाय दिस मैसेंजर आर एन ए नेक्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ द आर एन ए इंक्लूड दैट दिज राइबोजोम आर एन ए इट मेक्स ऑफ द राइबोजोम एंड इट ऑल्सो डिकोड द मैसेज ऑफ द मैसेंजर आर एन ए जेनेटिक कोड ऑफ द मैसेंजर आर एन ए एंड फाइनली दिस आर एन ए दैट इज ट्रांसफर आर एन ए टी आर एन ए एज आई टोल्ड इट कैरीज द अमाइनो एसिड टू द राइबोजोम फॉर द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस सो दिस टी आर एन एट एक्ट एज द एडेप्टर मोलिक्यूल ड्यूरिंग द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस सो दीज आर द सम फंक्शन ऑफ आर एन ए सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द आर एन ए सो होप यू लाइक द वीडियो गाइज सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टेक केयर